case you haven't guessed, we are at Funko here at Everett, Washington. I'm Tara Bennett from Sci-Fi Wire, and we are going to take a tour of this amazing new headquarters for Funko that just opened up in August of this year. And the man that's going to take us for a walk around is Mr. Mark Robin. Hello, sir. How Did are someone you? Someone say tour. Come, come. Will you take us around your sure. wonderful place? Why not? Oh, we're so excited, Prepare sir. Here to be amazed. And I just might be buying some things too. Let us go. All right. Tell me a little bit first about when you guys were thinking, hey, we get to have our own headquarters. What are the spaces that we want to have? And, you know, it's just epic. You know, it's like walking into a theme park. So it is a little bit like an amusement park. It's a little bit like a museum and it's a little bit of a store. That's awesome. Like, what's the, you know, in terms of putting all of your pieces in here, what can we find? Uh, like you said, it's not just DC actually in this particular section. We've got Stranger Things and Walking Dead kind of in through here. Those are the brand new Stranger Things figures uh, from nice. season two. So there's Max making her pop vinyl debut. Nice. The guys in their Ghostbusters. Which is so costumes. great. That's, right, you know, right. if you know licensing, yep. that's a very cool, yep. that's, a, that's, that's a double that's license the right Sony there. Sony and Netflix moving on there, which is awesome. Uh, Hellboy is fairly new for us. Yeah. Which, oddly enough, I think Hopper is the he new is, Hellboy. He is. So. The new Hellboy. So what's this? This is amazing. This uh, is got a, some old school. Uh, it's a life-size Batmobile, which is based actually on this. Oh, fantastic! So you can you buy this. You can, you can have it in your on your shelf at home, and you can take a picture while sitting in it. You can actually get inside of that, which that. you should do. I'm going to do that. You should I'm gonna actually get, get inside really of that. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to robin it up. There we go. Let's go. We don't just want to create giant figures of pop either, yeah. which a lot of these are pop. These are actually mystery minis. They're yes, not very they mini are, anymore. Yes, but they're uh, nor mysterious. But we still made little or big giant versions of mystery minis, it. which I think is very cool. So that way fans can again just experience something different when they come here to the store. And I think you know it's not going to change every week. These are obviously a little bit hard to a make. Bit, yes, exactly. But I think the vision is over time we'll definitely change out the displays. over into Marvel, which mm -hmm. is amazing. So obviously we've got Spidey, we've got some Green Goblin, we've also got some Hulkbuster and some Hulk going on over here. Um, for you guys, this is such a great space just in general. It's like, it's, you know, all you need to do is look at it and you just get all this kinetic energy. And then you've also got Stan the Man in the back there. So for you, is there a, a section in here that, you know, is just particularly is fun for you to be able to show off and, you know, also just honoring the guy that helped create all of this? I love this section. Uh, you know, it's based on New York for yes. one thing, so it's just a great city. And so it's a lot of fun for that reason. I like the subtle things that are added here. Everything from the fact that like the toy sh or the pizza place is, is named after our CEO. Nice. Uh, just little, little things like I, I noticed not too long ago that there is an Ant-Man. I don't, I can't even see him, but he's hiding up there somewhere. Pigeons, even the pigeon droppings, which is a little bit weird. That's but, all right. It's authentic. Know, it we is like authentic. it. We appreciate so the attention it, to detail. <laughs> you know, just, just like the curves. It's and great. The, the paint. Everything in this section is, there's so much detail here. Okay, so let's take a look at this amazing space. It's like I walked into Japan and there's Godzilla. So yep. what was the inspiration for creating this we space? We kind of colloquially refer to this section as Tokyo, but it's really our sort of anime video game section. So there is a lot of yeah. inspiration then taken from, from Japan and and which, you know, Funko takes a lot of in general, back, <laughs> uh, going as far back to kind of the art style of a lot of our products. But we also have some horror stuff in here, yeah. general cartoons, so animation. What does it take to bring in a I, Godzilla I'm, of almost Godzilla size? I'm not positive, but I know that when we have large pieces like this at Comic-Cons, they're generally actually in a couple of pieces, which oh, you can yeah, see you a scene the right there. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's probably in a couple of pieces, but probably took a big, large group of people to uh, put one piece on top of the other once it got on here. It's a Herculean effort when we do this kind of thing at Comic-Cons. I can only imagine what it was like in here. Poor Huckleberry Ham, man. Yeah, he's just destroyed just the train not, tracks. He's, he's not having a good day. It's, it's a bad commuter day for Huckleberry Ham. Poor mass transit. I think it's really cool that we've been able to revisit some older horror titles. Yeah. Like, for example, we've got The Shining right here. The and twins. And the, uh, the Grady twins, which is pretty cool. Love it with so, package splatter. That's nice. 
Five Nights at Freddy has been popular for, for a, awesome. a year or two now, one of our biggest selling licenses. And then Rick and Morty is one of our biggest licenses from yes. this year. Huge fan base, people love the show. Obviously the new seasons came, came out this year. So yep. we were able to not only do kind of the classic characters, but we, have, we don't have them here yet. We actually have some characters coming from this last season that are already in development, oh, like Pickle Rick. Nice. Uh, we're, awesome. So we're gonna have some characters out really, really soon from this new season. My heart loves old animation, the stuff I watched when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Scooby-Doo, uh, he might be coming home with me. Mm -hmm. There we go. If you are a visitor to this area, also the little secret is is that you come over to this area and these are exclusives. That's you, right. If you come here, this is where you're going to get some stuff that you are not going to get anywhere else. So yeah. obviously, Freddy Funko right. is the company's uh, yeah. mascot. So what what can you get here if you're a big fan? That's Freddy, and he's holding a space needle. So we wanted to make something that was kind of specific to Aww, Seattle. We do that lovely. a lot. We do like New York flavored exclusives mm -hmm. at NYCC, and so we kind of do the same thing here in the store for Seattle. Um, so that's only available here at the store, as is this little robot, Freddy, who okay. you'll find a larger version of him hiding over there by the Pop Factory. Yes. But again, only available here. If you are a Star Wars fan, you're gonna have a Star Wars heart attack right now from Hoth happiness, because this is awesome. Obviously, you've got a lot of choices for Star Wars to create an environment. Uh, was Hoth always the first choice, or? It, like it was, I think, I think it was viewed as the most iconic set piece and as far back as I remember anyone talking about what we were going to do in the store, it was always going to be Hoth. Nice. Like that was going to be st the Star Wars Good land call. as Hoth. I have been sorted already, so I'm ready to be in here. I think you guys need to come on too. You don't have to be a Ravenclaw, but We'll see what Mark's been sorted as. What are you? Abracadabra. <laughs> Slytherin, of course. Slytherin, of course. This is amazing. It's like your own little diagonal in here. Yeah, we're able to have some fun with the, the shops, and you know, there's a lot of detail that's inside of each window that you yeah. can kind of explore and at least feel like you're in a pop version of Diagon Alley. Which is so fun, and you've got all of these. I, 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 if you anybody's been to any of the theme parks, a big fun part of that is being able to just kind of look through the windows, and you guys have mastered, you know, brought that in here too, which is so fun. One of the things I love love about this particular section too is the way that the product is just merchandising inside of the store Which windows. Is so great. I think I think it's one of the best sections in terms of really making it feel immersive yes. uh, as a fan of, of the movies when you're walking through the section. I, I, I don't think it, we topped it in the rest of the store. I also love that we've got a nice little, a little Dobby, mm -hmm. we've got a little Edwig, just That's in right. case you didn't catch such uh, awesome little attention yeah. to detail. Thank you so much, Mark, for taking you us around. We welcome. really appreciate it. Come back anytime.